this is where the pavement ends and the gravel begins. Hello everyone. We are just outside of Squamish, British Columbia on the Squamish Valley Road and it has just turned to dirt and we are going to ride up this service road into the Ilaho Valley. The plan is over the summer perhaps to get up here for a weekend bike packing trip. Today I thought we would just do a little bit of a just do a little bit of a reconnaissance ride and see what we're up for. It's uh, May 21st I think. It's been a really weird spring. I'm almost certain we might run into some snow up here. Anyway, come along for the ride. So I was hoping the road would be in a little better condition, but beggars can't be choosers. I had a friend who did this trip last summer. Still a little too cold in the evenings to be spending the night out. So as I say, we're just going to do a little reconnaissance ride. This is sort of the one major drawback of this ride is just how much traffic there is on the road. But I guess it means we won't be running into any grizzly bears. This looks like an old logging camp. So there's a tiny little bit of paved road. Doesn't look as though it's been occupied in a very, very long time. And this is a power generating station. You like it carpenter lake. Yeah. It's been such a wet spring. Uh, I'm not surprised at how lush it is in here and green. It's funny, this is all silt from the river. This, uh, road is notorious for flooding in the springtime. Are you enjoying this ride, Catherine? This is so neat. You know, again, in our backyard, I just never knew it was here. Until the gravel bike. Yeah, we were just saying we're amazed at how flat this route is and it has everything to do with the fact that it follows the river so we've gained very little elevation which is nice Wow. Are you enjoying 
enjoying the ride, Catherine? Oh, it's amazing. It's just such a pleasure to get out, even though there's quite a bit of traffic. It's This is the second hill we've had to climb today. So we've been out for a couple of hours. The road's starting to climb now, so I think uh, I think maybe me, we might turn around and just head back. We never ran into any snow, which was surprising. Still a lot of snow up in the mountains. I can see this road getting flooded in the next month or so, if things heat up too quickly and the snow melts. But it's been a beautiful ride. I think just in terms of scenery, this has to be one of the most spectacular gravel rides I've been on thus far. The only thing sort of that puts me off a little bit is the traffic, but I suppose the traffic keeps the wildlife away, so we don't have to worry about the wildlife. So I think we're going to turn around and head back to civilization. It's a ride like this that really reminds me why I love getting out on the gravel bike. Um, you know, today was really just about exploring a place we'd never been. We could do this in the car, but as Catherine said, when you ride it, you're really just, you're so immersed in, in the environment and you really get to see places the way they're meant to be seen. I really feel like I could uh, do with a face mask on this ride. And my eyes are just so full of grit. If there were no motorized traffic, this ride would be absolutely spectacular. It's nice every once in a while you get these stretches of Beautiful, smooth, sandy road. I sure am glad we have the uh, specialized diverges with the rock shock on a ride like today. The rock shock really, really makes the ride just a little bit easier on the old body. It really 
does feel at times that you're cycling in Jurassic Park and then you pop out another minute and you've got these beautiful snow-capped mountains not too far in the distant distance Pretty dirty. Pretty bad? Yeah. Aside from the traffic and the dust that came with the traffic, that was an unbelievable ride. The scenery was spectacular. The road itself was pretty rough, so we didn't cover all that much ground, but boy, just beautiful. And I think there's a whole lot more exploring to do up in that region, up the Squamish Valley, the Ilaho Valley. So the plan is later on this year, once nighttime temperatures are a little warmer, we're gonna do a little overnight backpacking trip uh, in this area. So I hope you enjoyed our gravel ride in Jurassic Park today. We'll see you again on our next ride. Take care.